so you told us a little bit about phase three, free, the freedom phase. Mm -hmm. Phase four is equilibrium. Tell us about a case study to kind of demonstrate what these phases might look like in real life. Sure. So let's kind of look at that um, uh, equilibrium phase. You've um, purchased a home. It's a lot of what we were talking about before. So imagine that you're 40 years old. You maybe have a couple of children. Uh, you have a house. That things are really going the right way. I think that what a lot of people think is, I'm 40. I want to retire in 25 years. I might like to retire earlier than that. Therefore, I'm going to follow conventional wisdom and pay off my house. I think that's kind of the normal process that people think. And when you're in that phase, what you're going to see is I basically am just trying to hit people over the head over and over and over again. Those are great intentions. But what you need to do is, number one, stay out of that oppressive debt trap. That always has to be front and center. Number two, don't race to pay down your good debt. And so the case studies that I walk through in the book basically say, build up those assets, those liquid investment assets in your retirement plan and in your taxable portfolio, so your after-tax assets. And if you have both of those buckets that are building up, you're going to feel much less anxiety in your life, you're gonna feel much more peace, and you're gonna feel that you have a clear path to retirement. That's what the case studies are all about in the book, is they are very specific. I walk you through one family, and then I give you a worksheet that you can apply to your own life and say, where am I and where should I be directing my savings as I go forward and how can I be on track too?